I am freaking exhausted. I <laughs> played at the Philly Yule Ball last night with Harry and the Potters and Justin Finch Fletchley and MC Creature and a couple awesome non-wizard bands. So I'm kind of happy that we have a pretty relaxed theme this week. We decided to do a question and answer week, and I received some really, really good ones. Tiana Weasley asks, what would your superhero name be? Majak Amazing. Anna the Bold asks, what is your favorite non-magical tree? Non-magical tree? Aren't all trees magical? Ravenclaw2313 asks, what did you want to be when you were little? Actually, this is kind of a funny story. For the first maybe 14 or 15 years of my life, I wanted to be a school teacher. My parents bought me, you know, G.I. Joe's and He-Man and all of those sort of boy-oriented toys. By the time I was like 9 or 10, I had this assortment of smaller, like, G.I. Joe toys, and then I had the bigger, like, He-Man toys. So I would take all the books in my room and build, like, hallways and classrooms. And the big figures, like the wrestling figures and the He-Men, would be the teachers and the G.I. Joes would be the students. And I actually had a grade book, and I took, you know, their grades throughout a semester and, you know, passed and failed them, depending on their uh, school performance. Dana DeMille asks, Do you have any advice for long-distance relationships? My advice is to focus on your feelings, and if your feelings are mutual and real, then you can pretty much get through it. I think communication is very important, and staying in touch and talking and, you know, just being open about the way you feel. Hufflebeth asks, what was your favorite Christmas present as a child? What's sticking out in my mind right now is the year that we got matching BMX bikes. I think I was like five at the time, so mine came with training wheels. Eventually I graduated out of the training wheels and I had this sweet cherry red BMX bike and I had that for a long time. Parcel Mouse fan asks, are you in Ravenclaw? Star New House, it's called Awesome. Star New House, it's called Awesome. Katie Fab asks, what do you expect to change when you get married? Honestly, nothing. Lauren and I have already developed sort of an awesome dynamic between us. We are homey. We like living together. We like enjoying each other's company. We work together. And the fact that we're married, I think it's a detail that won't necessarily change the commitment that we already have. Penguin1124 asked five very good questions, but I'm just going to answer the most important one. What is your favorite kind of cheese? That is a really, really tough question. I love cheese, as you can tell by my spelt figure. Basically the answer, I guess if I had to shorten it, would be everything but American. Jody Troutman asks, What are the best and worst things you ever faced while on tour? There's a lot of things about tour that are challenging, but one of the worst things is when there's tension between myself and another tour mate, and it devolves into an argument because I tend to tour with people that I love and when arguments occur it can be really difficult. In terms of the best thing that's happened, I couldn't even narrow it down. I guess one thing that comes to mind is the fact that I've seen almost the entire United States of America at this point. You hear about people who like to travel and they talk about Europe and they talk about Asia and they talk about, you know, all these other places, but I'm kind of one of those people who really wants to see the United States because there's so much diversity and so much variation in the landscape and honestly driving from the East Coast to the West Coast and back just visually alone is one of the most amazing things in the world. Thank you very much for asking these awesome questions, folks. BT Dubs, if you happen to have any questions for any of my channel mates, Steph and Monica, Ia, Patrick, Melissa, you can actually ask those questions in the comments. I do have actually one question for Steph and Monica. You guys recently moved in together and you are roommates and it seems to be going very well. I want you guys to tell me the one thing, the one day, the one event that has been the most fun and the most awesome since you've moved in together. Alright, have a good week folks.